paleontology, uh, people tend to think of dinosaurs, but it's much broader than that. It's study of ancient life. So we study all kinds of different things in the department here. We are not unique, but close to it in having a concentration in paleontology. There's not very many undergraduate programs where you can focus on that, and we guide our students with their electives to prepare them for the next stage. Almost all of my students are heavily involved with various microvertebrate projects. Microvertebrates are tiny bones and teeth that we obtain by collecting sediment, washing it through a set of screens, and we end up with essentially sand. And then I get students to pick through that sand under microscopes and find tiny little bones and teeth. And this is how we get any idea at all of what the smaller animals were in an ancient ecosystem. Whatever project students would be working on would be part of a bigger, larger scientific research question. So they'd be collecting real data, partitioning out a question that they could address, and then their results will be incorporated into the larger body of knowledge uh, trying to solve these bigger questions. What I think is particularly unique about our program is that we get students out in the field early and I take them out west to various field areas. I'm taking students out to, to work um, just west of here in, in Tennessee and Virginia. We're looking at the fossils there and reconstructing the ancient environments and the evolutionary sequences from the early Cambrian, which is an important period of time. And all that information feeds into our broad understanding of the evolution of the Appalachian Mountain System. Every year I have students presenting at the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology meetings, Geological Society of America meetings. These are the meetings that are critical for them to go to and that's where they make the connections with their next stages, whether it's an employer, a graduate advisor, things like that. We don't have a graduate program currently and so the undergraduate students get our full attention. So I think there are opportunities that they just would not have elsewhere.